Good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Matthew. And uh, we're going to make a boat trip into the most beautiful city of Belgium. Oh. Yes. Have you been to Bruges as well? Yes. yes. One time. But Kent is more. No. No. no it's not the first time. First time. Okay. Now, before we start, there's something really important that you need to, to know about my city. Here in Ghent, we have two rivers coming together. Yeah? We have the river de Lys and the other river, it's called the Skelt. Now, we're going to be traveling the whole time on the river Lys. The whole time. Yeah. Now, between those two bridges, this is the first harbor of my city. Now, this harbor is from the 11th century. It's a long, long, long time ago. Now, this harbor in the Middle Ages was the second biggest harbor of Europe. Yes. Now, in the Middle Ages, there were five big cities. Ghent was the second biggest city. Then there was also Bruges. There was also Hamburg. There was also Amsterdam. And do you have any idea the biggest one of all? And it's romantic there. Paris. Paris was the biggest city and had the biggest harbor in the Middle Ages. Okay, so we're gonna start with a different kind of houses on your left hand side. You have this gray facade here. This facade is the oldest, oldest, oldest facade of the city. It's from the 12th century. And this was the storehouse. Now, in this harbor, this was a grain harbor. We've traded grain. Grain was needed to make bread, to make beer, to make all of things. And the grain was stocked in here. Yeah? Okay. Now, if you're gonna be standing closer to this building, you will see this building is standing like this. Now, this was specially made because when they pulled in the bags of grain, yeah? It could never hit the wall. You see? That's why they build like this. Now, on the right hand side of this gray facade, you have a really tiny small house. You see with the blue windows. Now this was the toll house where all the taxes uh, had to be paid. Uh, today this is one of the smallest bars that we have in Ghent. All together we cannot go inside. It's so small. Small. <laughs> yes. It's more like uh, this one. But yeah. <laughs> no. the, the fun part is if you would be so drunk in this bar, you can stand like this. Oh. Oh. You, you can never <laughs> fall down. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the most important house is the one here with the boat above the door. That's the most important house. Because this was my house. Oh, <laughs> yes. great. Only for me. What a beautiful. Can we go inside? No, I, I forgot the keys. <laughs> I forgot my keys. Now, this was my house because I was, I'm born in Ghent. And this was the house only for the people of Ghent. Now, you guys are not born in Ghent. You also have a house, but your house is standing on the other side. But more information later. I will tell okay. you later. Uh, where is your house? Now, the big building on the corner is younger. Young. In 1913, there was a World Expo here in Ghent. Now, we had, we were really, really good friends with England. We wanted to make England happy to make a copy of the Parliament of London. Now, maybe the only thing, some resemblance, the Big Ben Tower. You see? Oh, yeah, this one, yeah. Baby Big Ben. Now, ladies and gentlemen, get your cameras ready because now look at this beautiful view here on the three towers of my city. The first tower, the first church is the St. Nicholas Church. And this church was only used by me, the people of Ghent. All the, only the people of Ghent back in the days could go in this church. Now, everybody can go inside. Now, the second tower, this is the Belfry. And the belfry is the watchtower of the city. With on top of the belfry, there's a golden dragon. Ah. This is not a chicken yeah, or yeah, a I, rooster. I it's a, this is yeah. a dragon. <laughs> it's a dragon. The protector a dragon. of the city. <laughs> and then the last one is the cathedral. A cathedral is always bigger than a church. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's Sunday today. 
but after 12 o'clock you have to go inside this cathedral maybe you can go inside now because maybe sometimes on Sunday there's a mess now inside this cathedral you will find a world famous painting it's this painting this is this painting is called the adoration of the mystic lamp of the brothers van Eyck. if you have a book the top 100 most famous paintings ever made this painting is going to be inside for sure this is a big 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 gigantic painting you have to go inside to to check it and with kids what is really cool to do with kids inside this cathedral you will see a big whale the skeleton of a whale yes that's really cool with the kids to see now you have the gray building here on your right hand side this was a monastery from the dominicans now um today this is a, a, a cultural center of the university of ghent it belongs to the university of ghent now the small thing attached to it well those used to be the toilets now these guys they had only two toilets for more than 100 people so can you imagine the waiting line in the morning oh, that's <laughs> now ladies and gentlemen as you can see yeah, flushing in those days didn't exist huh? everything was dropped in the river all the poop caca pee pee and the river release there was full with holy poop flowing into the river until now no sir <laughs> now, now, now we're civilized, we're civilized. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know this this expression holy shit comes from here ah. Ah. Yeah. It's not true. <laughs> now ladies and gentlemen the last nine years Ghent is the biggest city in Belgium for students we have more than 75,000 students here in Ghent and we have a population here in Ghent 250,000 inhabitants Ghent is the third biggest city in Belgium after Brussels and Antwerp now can you imagine ladies and gentlemen with so many students here in Ghent we have a lot of fun and party in Ghent oh yeah art music festivals parties it never stops the only problem is you keep on forgetting that you're not 25 anymore so enjoy it <laughs> now ladies and gentlemen this here is the biggest church of my city the biggest one and this church is called the saint michael's church this church was only used by the beer brewers the people yeah. who made beer because remember all the caca pee pee in the water <laughs> in the middle ages nobody was drinking water water Holy was beer. full with diseases so everybody drunk beer yeah. children babies oh. Oh, yeah. oh. waking up in the morning mommy i'm thirsty a beer going everybody to sleep drunk. a beer <laughs> now ladies and gentlemen this was not the same beer from today ah, it was okay. a table beer there was maybe one percent alcohol in it oh, they were not getting drunk maybe but it was too. safer to drink beer than water, water. Yeah. yes yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why these guys they had the biggest church of all because they were the richest people in the city Now, ladies and gentlemen, now you have a beautiful view on your house. You have also a beautiful house. And your house is the house with on top of the roof, the, the, the golden ship. Now, the ship is the Santa Maria of Christopher Columbus. You see, this is the same ship above the door. It's the same ship above the roof. This too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So, my house, your house. So, <laughs> imagine we entering the harbor together in the Middle Ages now i'm born in ghent so that means i have to pay no money and i go into this house now you guys you have to pay first to enter my city and then you go to the other side now everybody can come for free huh, of course now there's a really really cool story 
Under the golden ship, you have like two sea monsters. You have two lions, but above two sea monsters, yes? When they did the decoration of your house, they asked, can you make a dolphin? Now the problem was, the people here in Ghent, in those days, they never had seen a dolphin in their life. And this must be a dolphin. <laughs> Strange dolphin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm going to show you the smallest house of my city. Look, 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 look. Look, this is the smallest house of my city. You see between the two houses? Oh, yeah. There's another house. This is the smallest house of my city. <laughs> what is inside? <laughs> well, back in the days, it was a house. There was an old lady living in this house. Yeah. Now it's together with the restaurant. There's a kitchen ah, inside this house. Ah. Ready, and we can. Now, this building in front of you, this was the fish market, 17th century. Uh, today, it is a restaurant, but much more interesting to know, in the corner, this is the tourist office of that. The thing that is sticking out, where the people are inside, that's the tourist office. Hi, dudes. Good morning. So, left hand side, fish markets. Now, on the other side, meat market, 15th century. Now they make promotion for local products. So what you're gonna find inside? Beer, of course, cheese, ham, chocolates. Um, ladies and gentlemen, have you been to Brussels? Some, maybe. Some? Now, in Brussels, we have a really famous statue, Mannequin Peace. This little statue doing pee pee, yes? Now, we also have one here in Ghent. But ours is not doing pee pee, and ours is really happy. Pipi! Yeah, Pipi! Pipi Kaka! Pipi Kaka! Yay! Okay, are you ready to see Monica Peace? Monica Peace! Look, left hand side, you have three statues and one in the middle. He's wearing a costume. That's Monica Peace of Ghent. Yes, really small. Really, really small. Now, ours is the most happiest one because he's got two girlfriends, Lena <laughs> and Luna. Monica Pis and two Janneke Pis. Yes. Janneke is the female, Monica is the boy. So. <laughs> Pee -pee. Pee -pee. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, on your left hand side, you have like a yellow white building with the white flags. This this is called the House of Alain. Now this was a hospice, like a retiring home only for women. When a woman in the Middle Ages, when you became like 35 years old, you were so so old and you could go here to die. 35 ladies. Way too early. <laughs> Ladies, you were married at the age of 10, 11. You had six, seven children. When you were 21, 35 finished. Uh, gentlemen, we were along dead on the battlefield. We were along dead. Now, today, this is a museum of folklore. Now, this is really, really cool to do with kids because they're going to see a walkman a disc man you know the, the old telephones <laughs> yes the big televisions black and white you yeah, have to push yeah, the buttons a, uh, a floppy disc oh, the the I first game boy the first game boy you, yeah. you know you don't know this huh you know a walkman ladies huh? yeah. Yeah. yeah children nowadays they don't know this anymore huh? no. <laughs> 
Somebody is having a lot of fun in my boat trip. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you want to make some more boat trips, well, the beautiful boats here on your left hand side, you can rent these boats. And these boats are coming from Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Uh, <laughs> Now there's a vegetarian, there's a vegetarian restaurant here, and they make meditation boat trips. Bibi. Yes. Bibi. Now, ladies and gentlemen, nine years ago, we people of Ghent, we could choose our ugliest building of the city. Ugliest. Crazy. The, this one in front of you, <laughs> second place it's of one. ugliest building of the city. Number one was for the Belgacom Tower, but you cannot see it from here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, because of these buildings, my city of Ghent is not accepted into the World Heritage of UNESCO. But we are not inside UNESCO. It's a new building. You know. Yes, this is, but the problem is these buildings are standing inside the historical center. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's why we're not accepted in UNESCO. It's supposed to be here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is really, really good that we not accepted in UNESCO. Why? Well, some of people of you, you've been to Bruges. Yeah? Bruges is the most famous um, tourist attraction in Belgium. You, uh, Bruges is also in UNESCO. Yeah. Now, every year we have more and more and more and more people coming to Ghent. Sorry, sir. If we would be accepted in UNESCO, it will bring 500,000 people more every year. We are not ready for this. Ah. Ghent is too small. But can you imagine? A, a beer in Bruges, you're gonna pay for a normal beer, five to six euros for one beer. Here in Ghent, two, three euros for the same beer. For the same, same beer. In some restaurants in Bruges, not if you go to the McDonald's, in Bruges they have two menus for the people from Bruges and for the tourists. They have two different kinds of menus. They, they don't care. You will see. If you go back to Bruges, 6 o'clock in the evening, Bruges is dead. There's nothing anymore to do. All the shops are closed, no parties, nothing. All the restaurants are closed. So now it's internet. Yeah, people are posting stuff, comments. Ah, we are in Bruges, 6 o'clock in the evening is dead. Let's go to Ghent now. Wow, Ghent is like New York City. Never sleeps, party, art, music, festival. <laughs> More people coming. So that's why, ladies and gentlemen, I need your help. If you go back home, no publicity about my city. You never was here. <laughs> yeah? You never was here. <laughs> I can you imagine like maybe in five years I have to pay from Ghent five euros for a beer. That's crazy, this is scandalous. But this is gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. And a two bedroom apartment with two with two uh, two bedrooms and a garage, you're gonna pay seven hundred thousand euros. If you're all by yourself, you cannot buy this here anymore. It's becoming crazy. The price is going up, 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 up. It's getting too expensive. Tourism is good, but too much tourism is not good. It destroys everything. <laughs> yes. You know Tintin? 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 Yeah, Tintin? Tintin it's from Belgium. <laughs> do, you, do you know Jean-Claude Van Damme? Uh, the actor. Ah, Jean-Claude. Martial artist. Yes, martial artist. He's from Belgium. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Look, ladies and gentlemen, here on the left hand side, this is the last house in wood, with a wooden facade. You see?
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to see something amazing? Are you ready to for the wow moment? Where is it? Ooh, da -da -da -da. Suspense, suspense, suspense. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, this is unique in the world. Huh? Where have you ever seen a castle built like this in the middle of a city center? These kind of castles should be always standing outside to protect the city. And here, it's inside. And this is called the Castle of the Counts. It's from the 11th century, so a long, long, long time ago. And today, this is a museum for medieval weapons and torture instruments. And ladies, maybe you're still are looking for a place to get married. You can get married in the torture chamber. <laughs> yes. It's not dangerous. It's a torture chamber. No. I don't know. <laughs> Are you say duck in the Philippines? Duck. 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 Are you say this in Philippines? Duck. Duck. Pato. Pa pa pato in Spanish. Yeah, pato. it's the same. Uh, it's same. Really? Pato. Same, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We are. Uh, pato. Ganso. It's a uh, balloon. <laughs> 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 now, this here is one of my favorite places of the city. And why it's one of my favorite places? It's always really quiet here. Not a lot of students are coming here. Now, this is also, this, this view here, all these houses here, this is a typical view of my city. You have houses from the 15th century, 16th century, 17th century, 18th century, 19th century, 20th century, and also this really modern house. You see? All together. Because we can do this in Ghent. We are not in UNESCO, so we are much free to do what you want. But if you go to Bruges, you will see everything is the same, because it's protected. So, this neighborhood on the left hand side, it's called the Court of the Princes. In the Middle Ages, long time ago, there was a big, big, big castle here. And in this castle, a really famous gentleman was born. And his name is Emperor Charles V, Carlos V. He was German, Spanish. His empire was going from the United States till the Philippines. It was all from him except France. Now he was born here on 24th of February, 1500, 1500. So in the year 2000, we celebrate his 500th birthday. And as a gift, we built this bridge. And this is the bridge of the imperial pleasures. On each corner, you have a monument. Now that represents the life of Emperor Charles V. Now the people of Ghent, they think, they imagine these monuments being cauliflowers. We have, we have a lot of imagination. <laughs> 